build my small block Chevy here for my circle track car. And uh, today is uh, we're doing plastic gauge because something you need to do when you're putting on your crankshaft. So I got all my main caps right here and this is called plastic gauge. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but what it does is you've got this little guide here and you got to check your clearance between your, uh, your bearing and the main journal on the crankshaft. So you'll be you have a bearing distance between that and that. So what we do is we get one of these bad boys, put it on there, we'll torque it down, and then it'll tell us how much of a gap there is in there. I'll show you. Okay, so I got my little chunk of plastic gauge there. We'll set it on, make sure that arrow's facing frontward, and I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down. Just torqued them down to 75 foot-pounds. Now all I gotta do is take the cap back off and we'll see what our clearance is. Okay, so we got two places to check. We got on the cap itself, see that little red little guy thing there? And same deal going on right here. So I got my handy dandy book here. We're gonna do small block Chevy workbench how-to. And we're gonna do stock street application. So we're trying to get it within zero, 0.002 to 0 0.0035. Take a look, we are right uh, about right in the middle, so 0035 ish. Take a look at that width there. I think we're looking pretty tits, so I think we'll send 